Hello guys, my name is Mike and I'm a PhD student studying the undergraduate program at UCLan. So before I applied for my program, I went to YouTube searching for information um, explaining the differences um, between the undergraduate and the postgraduate program. But I really struggled to find information. So I decided to come up with this video where I'm going to explain the main differences I found between the undergraduate and the postgraduate program and also giving you guys um, some tips and advice to um, choose the right one for you. So before we start this video guys, um, if you're new here, subscribe to the channel for more information like the video so um, I can know what kind of content you guys like to see and um, without wasting any more time let's dive into the video. A little disclaimer before I start this video, I'm going to be explaining the undergraduate program at UCLan. Now this might be done in a different way in other universities, as I said as of now there are only two universities offering this program, the second one the University of Reading, they haven't started yet so when I'm talking about the undergraduate program I'm referring to the one at UCLan. To make the video easier for you guys to watch I divided it into different segments and I'm going to put timestamp in the um, description box so you guys can skip the video to um, the place you most want to see. So I'm going to start with talking about um, the universities offering the undergraduate program. And as of now, there are only two universities offering this program. University of Central Lancashire, Yukon, which is the one I'm going to. And then as of September 2020, and a university called University of Reading. I'm going to start offering this program as well. I made a whole video about this, um, which I'm going to link um, in the description box. So you guys can go see um, the differences between the I found between Yukon and this other university. So as of right now, there are only two universities offering it and um, we hope that probably in the next few years, more universities decide to offer this program. Next I want to talk about guys is the duration of study. So the postgraduate program is a two year program, while well, the undergraduate program is a four year program. But about the undergraduate program, um, the first two years is basically like a preparation, preparing you for the postgraduate program basically, because when you go into your third year, you basically combined with the first year postgraduate student so it's almost like you have your first two years as an undergraduate preparation then you move into your last two years which is the same thing as the two years of the postgraduate student so altogether it becomes four years as compared to only two years of the postgraduate program and then this leads to the next thing i want to talk about which is the qualification required so in order to study the postgraduate program you need to have an undergraduate degree in a relevant subject so um different universities accept different type of undergraduate degrees so some universities are very picky on the kind of degrees they want so they normally they want a scientific degree um while as other universities are less strict on what they want so if you guys are decided to go through this route i would advise you guys to call different universities and ask them what kind of degree they want and what kind of degrees they won't accept so you can know um what kind of subject you could do in your undergraduate program well as for the undergraduate program all you need is to have a math and English GCSE and also your A level grade and that's all you need you don't need any other degree at all you just go into the program and get prepared to go into the postgraduate program so the next topic I'd like to talk about is the intensity so as mentioned before the undergraduate program is a four-year program while well, the postgraduate program is a two-year program so in my opinion the postgraduate program is probably more intense because you have two years to study and gain the medical and scientific knowledge and also the clinical skills to be able to practice well, as when choosing the undergraduate program, you have four years to gain this knowledge and to gain these skills. So in my opinion, having two years is going to be more intense, especially if you come from an undergraduate degree where you didn't gain those knowledge. So if you saw one that did a very scientific undergraduate degree, you might come into the postgraduate degree and um, you'll find it less intense because you already have those knowledge. But for someone that maybe they didn't do a scientific degree, when coming to this program, the person might find it difficult to um, gain this knowledge in two years and they might struggle a bit. While as for someone coming from A-levels, you have a whole of four years to take your time and gain this knowledge and also gain the skills. But the undergraduate program, which is the one I'm doing, is very intense as well. Um, so in the first two years, we combined with the medical students. So the medical students, so the five-year program, the first two years we combined with them. So the first two years as well is very intense. So I can't give you guys a concrete answer on which one is more intense because I'm doing the undergraduate program and I've not done the postgraduate program. But um, this is just my opinion. So I'm just thinking, you have four years to study something and other people have two years. So having four years, having more time can just give you more time to improve your skills. So in terms of similarities, the two programs are very similar as in at the end of the day, you get the same diploma. In terms of job prospects, it's the same thing because both um, the undergraduate and the postgraduate, they have to sit a national exam and then after the national exam, they're allowed to practice. They are very similar because at the end of the day, the undergraduate program is almost like a two year block where you get prepared to study the postgraduate program. So at the end of the day, when you get into your third and your fourth year, it's almost like you're studying the same postgraduate program as everyone. So they're very similar in terms of diploma, job prospect, and um, also the kind of content you need to learn before you graduate, if that makes sense. 
Now I'm going to give some pros and cons of the undergraduate program and of the postgraduate program, which I found. So um, I'm going to start with the pros of the undergraduate program. So the first pro I found is that you don't need a previous degree. So to study this program, you could just come directly from A levels. All you need is your GCC and your A levels. That's it, and you can study this program. Another pro I found is that you have four years to gain your medical knowledge and your clinical skills required to see the national exam and then start practicing. Another pro is that um, here at UCLA we start our placements early. So from the first year we start our placement. So that can give you early exposure to the clinical setting. And this might be an advantage compared to someone that did an undergraduate degree maybe without placement. So they couldn't get this exposure to the clinical setting. The cons I found about the undergraduate program is that basically you need to be sure of what you want to do early. So um, if you do the postgraduate program, you basically have more time to think about it because you need to choose an undergraduate program first, which normally lasts three or four years. So you have those times to really decide if you want to become a PA or not. While as if you're choosing the undergraduate program, you don't have that much time because you have to make that decision while doing your A level. So you need to be sure of what you want to do early. And another one is that basically, someone doing the postgraduate program would have already had time to mature. So um, most undergraduate programs are three or four years. So this can give people time to mature, um, gain some learning skills, um, develop some study method, which will help them when studying the postgraduate program. While as coming from A level, you don't have that, much, that time to mature. So all you have is two years as compared to someone that might have three or four years. So in those two years, you need to basically gain the same um, skills and maturity that someone would gain in four years. So you need to be very proactive and very mature early because you have less time compared to other people. Now moving to the pro of the postgraduate program. Um, the first thing is that as I, as I said before, you just have more time to decide what you want to do. So um, you could choose a three year or a four year program. You could study that and while studying, you could really decide if PA is something you want to do or something you don't want to do. So you just have that liberty of time. The second thing is that Depending on the undergraduate program you do, you might gain some knowledge which will be very useful when you come to the postgraduate program and someone coming from A-levels will definitely not have those skills and knowledge. Another pro of studying the postgraduate program is that before studying it, you already have a degree and you might be able to secure a job using this degree if you decide that PA is probably not what you want to do. The cons I found is that obviously, depending on the length of your undergraduate program, most of them are three to four years, it's going to take you more time to become a PA because if you have a four year program, it's going to be four plus two years, it's going to take you six years as to someone who did the undergraduate program, which is four years. Another one I found is that if you do a non-scientific undergraduate degree, you might struggle a lot when you start this um, postgraduate program because you have two years to gain a lot of scientific and medical knowledge so if you didn't already gain those from your previous degree it might you might struggle it might just take a little bit more seriousness and time and a little bit more work another con is that some uni are very picky on what degree they want you to have before studying the postgraduate program so as i mentioned at the beginning of the video make sure you call the different units up and you ask them what kind of degree they accept and what kind of degree they don't accept so you don't run into the trouble of um, having a degree and then not being able to study at the university of your choice the last kind i found is that um, depending again on the degree you do you might not have exposure to the clinical setting at the start of this two-year program someone doing the undergraduate program at ukland is going to have early exposure to clinical setting because we start from first year so just to conclude which one should you choose if you're doing your a levels and you're thinking about studying the pa program my opinion is this if you sure of wanting to become a PA, then I don't see why you should go study something else. My advice would be just to go into the undergraduate program and after four years, you sit your national exam, you can start practicing. While as if you're someone that is not really sure about becoming a PA, maybe you have another degree in mind you wanna do, um, you're still lucky because you have the postgraduate option. So you could go ahead and um, study this undergraduate program you're thinking about doing. And while you're studying it, you have a lot of time to really think and decide and do your research and decide if PA is really what you want to do. And if you make the decision that um, you really want to become a PA, then you could go study for two years and then train and become a PA. So this is just a quick video explaining the main differences between the undergraduate and the postgraduate program. I hope you guys find it useful. Um, if you guys made it to this part of the video, um, leave a like below. And um, if you have any questions, as always, um, I'm going to leave my social media in the description box. Um, and also just leave a comment and I'll make sure I get back to you and um, good luck with your application and interview process and I'll see you guys later